Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Bravely Second. Uh, we need to go to the Geniolgia Tunnel or some shit? Mausoleum? That's where we gotta go? So, what we're gonna do really quick, we're actually gonna save the game. Cause I don't know if I just saved it or not. Well, I used the teleport stone to get out of there, so it doesn't really matter. But, we're gonna save it before we go to the mausoleum. We gotta find some underground exit or entrance. Probably gotta go to his house. How, wait, how did he get in here without being spotted? I would love to know this. How did no one spot this man? How did no one spot this dude? <laughs> it's whatever. Please, Master you slow down! Yes, I have a spare key to the mausoleum, but why ever would you... You! How dare you come back here after what you did to Master Yu! Uh, it's okay, Alfred. We've already sorted it out. What I need from you is the key. Is that so? Are you certain you can trust them? Well, you don't have to glare at us like that, old-timer. Master Yu, the crypts are already open. The crypt keys. Tell huh? the crypt. So, de the Kaiser is already inside? The door to the crypt is open, you say? But that cannot be. Aside from my spare, the only other key was carried off by Master Denny seven years ago. Of course. At the time, he told me he wanted to lay flowers on the grave of his mother. We never saw him again. Listen to me, Alfred. About Denny. You still think of your brother, Master Yu? Quite often, actually. As a matter of fact... He's the Kaiser. <sighs> Preposterous! The dread Kaiser Oblivion is none other than our own Master Denny? Say... Say it is not so. It is so, Alfred. Master get the Denny devoted himself fully to house and church from a young age that he could commit such atrocities. It... it simply boggles the mind. I mean, it right, doesn't... you. <laughs> it's time you dealt with your brother. I mean, y'all kind of did just cut him out the family because he lost his arm. Like, come on, fam. I mean, I'd be pretty mad too, my dude. <laughs> it boggles the mind why he would do all this. I mean, I mean, I know we treated him like shit after he lost his arm and then kicked him out the family, but man, I mean, who would still be mad? <laughs> like, damn, my dude. Yes, but where will the two of you go? We shall turn ourselves into the Crystal Guard. You don't have to. A crime is a crime. How can we hope to reform others if we cannot admit our own trespasses? I suppose you're right. Just make sure you speak with Popanias and all of the others with her. You mean those old knights? What would you have us say to them? Well, yes, them too, but I was thinking of other people. People closer to you. I think they'll be very interested in what you have to say. To be close. Huh? Trust me, you'll see what I mean soon enough. Now, I have to go stop my brother. Be safe out there, you. I will, my friend. You better be packing, soldier boy. I will, my friend. In fact, I'm about to go ghost. Down into the uh, basement we go. Underground uh, area here. Mausoleum. It's dead people house Jenny Oja Crips. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat time. Dun 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 dun. All right, time to run into some new enemies. So I will reduce the encounter rate to 50. And uh, we're gonna try to collect as many items here as possible while protecting ourselves. Yes, we got a, we got some SP. That's right. Uh, the house of Genioja Crips. And there are monsters lurking down there. 
like literally right outside where we live. <laughs> why are there? In, why? Why? Are, why do we go in here? Why was this even made if enemies are just gonna run amok down here? How are they gonna have this place even open? How did enemies get down here? All right, uh, there's two items right here. Oh wow, I pick, I tried to pick it up and then we got ambushed. Oh my God, bunny rabbits! Uh, your boy is dead. We gotta turn him into a ghost, so I know exactly what I gotta do. So we're gonna execute this. Nah, I fell. It took a little bit too much off the top. <laughs> he took it all. He took it all. He took it all. He took it all. <laughs> Bro, he <laughs> I went into the barber shop. Hey, what you want? No, just a little bit off the top. All right, I'll fuck you up. Wait, what? <laughs> Instant death? Are you? Whoa! I ain't never coming back here ever again. I ain't coming here to get my hair cut ever again, homie. <laughs> I ain't ever coming back here to get my hair cut. Cut. Ever. <laughs> First of all, that wouldn't have happened if we... I wonder if I can protect myself. There's gotta be a way to protect that, cause instant death, just, nah fam, I'm not having that. I'm not having instant death, fam. And that's gonna be the first encounter we get into because it's saved here. So, the only thing I can do is actually revive Soldier Boy to change up the, I the RNG. Revive Soldier Boy. That dude took a little bit off the top. <laughs> Haircut. I'm like, dude, this better not kill. I had a weird feeling because I, I saw the name of the freaking. I saw the name of the fucking move. It was called Haircut. I'm like, well, I got a feeling this is going to instantly kill me somehow. So I think if you have full, full health, it might kill you. I think that's how it works. Maybe. So I think what I can do. I'm actually going to equip a, a different job. If you have full health, I think you just die. That m might be how it works. So who has less health? Valkyrie. Turn him into a Valkyrie and then back into a Guardian. Let's go with the Guardian, dude. That... It, that... Is that was just horrible, my dude. What are you? The, we need some kind of accessory that gives us you know, protection against instant death. That's the final freaking thing we need. That's the final key. Because if we can get that, we can just jump out the way of everything else. These damn instant kills, like oh, we can oh, you can uh, you can reflect our attacks, but uh, fam, we gonna cause that instant death. So, switching back to Guardian. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Anyway, we have two performers. Anyway, let's go down here. Let's do it again. Let's try that again. I think that's how it might work, because I have full HP and it just went down to zero, so. Some moves work like that. Like, the decapitation was like, low HP. Boom, you're automatically dead, but this one might be, oh, if you're fully healed, instant instant kill. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, they get nuked. Look at that, look how much damage they take. 
Soldier Boy needs to be ectoplasm real quick. Actually, I might just have him alive. I'm not trying to fight these dudes too much. <laughs> I'm obviously not trying to fight them, these damn rabbits. Um, I actually need to go to special T Dog. He shouldn't have item. He should actually have victory. He needs to get 10 victories. Everybody should be victories, because victory is better. Nobody's going to be using items at this point. Um, I just gotta, gotta remind myself not to fully heal. If that's the case, it might not even be the case here, dude. It might just be an instant kill move that just instantly kills all day. Do we even have anything? Yeah, let's check to see if we have anything that prevents death. Alright, no special effects. Okay, 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 okay. What's that? Smiley badge of being targeted by enemies remaining constant. Okay. Dark damage, light damage, earth, wind, lightning, water, fire, dread, charm, confusion, paralysis, sleep, silence, blindness, poison, gauntlets. Okay, everything but death protection. I have a feeling we're going to probably find it in this cave. If anything, we're going to find it in this cave. Good. We have to find it. Um, we have to find some way to protect against that. Because these dudes out here cutting people up. They out here messing people up, man. Uh, did I give them ectoplasma? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Well, I guess for the time being... For the time being, I should have Soldier Boy revived because we need at least two targets on the field because if we just get instantly killed immediately that sucks you know so we want to have home to have the exorcism ectoplasm all right here we go these fucking rabbits Here they go again. Haircut. Like, come on, my dude. Really? Really? So, I'm trying to think. The only thing I can do is... Is there... I have to have re-raise. I have to have somebody a support... I have to make somebody a supportive ally. So they can use re-raise on me ASAP. So that's what I have to do. That's the only way I can win right now, is having re-raise. I have to have reflect and re-raise on. So Lil E, if anything, would actually be able to... For these random encounters, I need her to be a wizard. Uh, Soulja Boy or Usagi? Astrologen should be faster. Yeah, we just need to have an astrologian. Astrologian is slower. But it doesn't really matter at this point. We need somebody to keep us alive. So we're going to make Soulja Boy an astrologian. We're going to cast re-raise and then we should be good. That's the only way. I thought having lo lower than... Uh, it's probably like a certain amount of fucking health you got to have to avoid getting that done to you. Also, let's go over here. Well, I can also give him stand your ground for now. Because he's not going to need this or this. So stand your ground would... No, stand your ground would probably just kill you. So, again, I think what we would want to have equipped is... Because this is an instant kill move. It's not about lowering your HP. When suffering damage, that would result in a KO. I don't think Stand Your Gun would actually be affected by instant KO stuff. Um, There's two things I need to have. Precognition, that's for damn sure. And we're going to go ahead and throw on... All we need to do is just make a few adjustments and we'll be good. Because right now we don't have anything that protects against instant death. So the next best thing is to have re-raise. 
And I can pre-sign his re-raise, which is amazing. Blind immunity. Nah, that wouldn't work. How much is that summoner skill? Like, when I die, I can, like, automatically summon something. Summoner. Here we go. Summon substitute. A random summoning of all... Oh, we still gotta go get all the uh, summonings. Summon in a pinch. When your HP falls to critical summoning spell you learn is randomly evolved. Alright, precognition. And then we're gonna have... There's nothing that prevents death at this point. Tell you what, we're just gonna have precognition and divining rod. Here we go. And then your boy, soldier boy. He has ectoplasm. No, he didn't have it on. Almost forgot. All right. So he should be good. Yeah, I, I should just I gotta re-raise and then meteor the field. That's what it, that's the that's the plan. All right, cool, we got it. I gotta make sure that's his primary job. Okay. The reason why I said that is because his primary job has to be um, astrologist, so he can have access to pre-science and re-raise is a supportive skill, so it should work. Look at that. All we do is run into these mooks. All we do is run into these dudes. So we're gonna use command set. And then his first thing is going to be re-raise on T-Dog. Oops. Re-raise on T-Dog and then Meteor. That's if they don't use it twice in a row, dude. <laughs> it's not it's still not foolproof. It's not foolproof, I tell you that. Ah! I forgot to switch that. I forgot this. Ah! Ventriloquism. I fucking forgot about ventriloquism. I'm getting fucked by this haircut, dude. Like, I thought haircuts were supposed to make you look nice. Out here making me look like a frog right now. So, I don't think I can use ventriloquism here, unfortunately. Because if I want to use re-raise, I can't, I can't have a... Yep. I knew it. The moment I seen that, I'm like, fuck, ventriloquism. Can't have that here. That's a problem. That instant death. Like, instant death. Everybody loves instant death, dude. Instant death is a damn problem. Now I gotta rearrange everything again. Oh boy. So, the binding rod. Fucking to some rabbits, too. Like, come on, my dude. Purest magic defense. Yeah. We're still actually gonna have her. Yeah. Purest magic defense. That's exactly what we would want him to have still. Where is it? Pierce, 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 Magic Defense. Uh, who's the Black Mage? Here we go. Oh, she's going to have pre-science. She's going to have pre-science. And then she's also going to have precognition. There we go. We should be good. Fucking gave them both re-raise. Like, I did, I did not... I completely overlooked the fact that I have ventriloquism equipped. 
Everything is affected. Every spell is affected. Technically, I can just use Hinopu mushrooms. That's right. I could probably just use Hinopu mushrooms for that. And the rabbit is always going to be out. I think I'm dead again because I was supposed to have both of them up. We're going to do less damage with meteors because it's not blasted. Ah, oh, frack. Alright, Usagi. Meteor. She's not even a time age, dude. She's not even a time age. You know what? Fuck this. I like to call a friend. I like to call a friend, uh... I'm dead. I'm dead again. Because they're gonna do haircut. Because the RNG doesn't switch, unless I do specific things. RNG is actually getting, they're gonna use haircut and it's gonna land. So, we can try to do spirit barrier and see what happens with that, but I don't think it'd actually do anything. Yup, you still die. Spirit barrier doesn't nullify that. Alright, here we go. What just happened? I didn't want the- No, I didn't want that! I don't care about this. I can, I can skip this shit, right? Alright, hold on. So, first of all, I have Inopu Mushrooms, and I completely forgot about it. So I can use Inopu Mushrooms, and then Soul Barrier, and then I should be okay. Yep, that should work. And no poo mushroom and then that. So I have to uh, ectoplasm my guy first. Alright, damn man. We can, we died three times to these little mother bunnies. It's okay. Because once we get that death protection, it, they ass is grass. Mm, where is it? I am looking for ectoplasm. Right here. There we go. And now, he has pre science, and an opal mushroom will work. Soldier Boy needs to turn into a ghost, and uh, everything should work. One of them will attack, and the other one will do a haircut. But if one of them uses haircut and then attacks, that's actually a problem. <laughs> if the first one goes first and uses haircut, and then the Inopu mushroom takes effect, that's actually a problem. So, here we go. We're going to use command set. He's actually going to brave Inopu mushroom on T Dog. And then Soul Mirror. Here we go. Okay. That's the good stuff. But if they both use haircut, it's like nothing I could do. It's literally nothing I can do at that point. Because haircut, we don't know if it's always guaranteed to hit. Alright, so we got we got the strategy for this dungeon. Earth mallet. That doesn't really need, is not necessary. We get to see how many, uh, there's only one more chest in here. It's right over here. Turbo Ether. And we really need something to guard against uh, death. Cause they could always just use two haircuts in a row, dude. <laughs> hey, come on, my dude. Yep, yep. You know, first of all, let me go into this next area first so I can auto save. Nope, they didn't want me. They didn't want to let me auto save, and it's two of them bitches again. So we gotta repeat what we just did. In fact, I'm actually gonna use this command set. No, I'm actually gonna copy it 
I'm to set three, override it, and execute it. Alright, cool. Yup, alright, we got it. God damn, man. I gotta waste no food mushrooms, but the adventure should be around the corner. Alright, let's go over here and auto save. <laughs> All right, come back over here. Yep, yep, rest in tent. The spirits are crying, just like back then. Spirits? Uh, sorry, I just meant that sound. It's just the wind, right? Don't scare me like that. Yes, it was just the wind, blowing between the gravestones. But when I was a child, it sounded like wailing spirits. You've been here before, you? Yes, to bury my father, and as heir to House Genealgia, to pay respect to my ancestors. I don't remember it very well. Or maybe I just tried hard to forget. The more I think about it, the more I realize how hard I've tried to forget my childhood. Was she cooking up over there? Eating at a dinner table so big, I could hardly see my parents' faces. The grim silence, broken only by the clinking of cutlery. Everyone seemed so distant. Father, mother, my brother, and his mother. It was as if some massive gulf divided my brother and me. Even though neither of us wanted it to be that way. Sound like some dog guy over another did episode talk to my brother, type stuff. He was always so kind to me. I always thought to myself, when brother inherits House Genialja, I'll be his right hand man. But it wasn't to be. <sighs> it wasn't until I went off to study in El Campus that I finally had some room to breathe. Jan and I would go down to the food stalls each evening. Everything was so delicious. But eventually, father passed, and I returned home to that silent, gloomy dining room. But couldn't you change things? Right! You're the head of the household now. You can eat however you like. I'm afraid it's not so simple. House Genealgia has rules for everything, all laid down by the first of our name. The portrait in the lobby of your manor. That's him, isn't it? I remember that painting. It scared the heck out of me when I got up in the middle of the night. Me too, sir. I think it's the reason why ghosts are my biggest, uh, well, only fear. Dinner's ready, everyone. Come and get it. She was frying up the meats, frying up them sausages. Oh, I forgot it was your turn. Don't look so happy about it. Besides, I whipped up something special tonight. This is how I always wanted my meals to be. Food, laughter, camaraderie. Something special, you say? Special in what way? Ta-da! The Ducal Guard Special. Salmon braised with vinegar, mayo, butter, garlic, pepper, and barbecue sauce! Heart attack special, baby. Oh, vache! What a feast! Yes, this is what I always wanted. It is? <laughs> uh, Idia, don't you think butter and garlic alone would have been enough? What? What was it proven? It was like a flavor explosion. The Ducal Guard really eats this? This exact recipe? Ugh, so magnifique! It's perfect. Alrighty. Time to move out to the left side. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do here, guys, is actually take a short break here and get ready for this ridiculous dungeon. But them, the, the rabbits always trying to cut your head. They, they, they always just trying to cut you up, fam. I'm like, dude, I just, I, look at that. Look at that. I don't need y'all to cut me up, man, not right now. Maybe in about a week. 
Give me another week, man.